What's up guys? Okay, this video I'm going to talk about warding. Uh, as I mentioned in the first episode, uh, when you're playing Pudge Rotation and warding yes. and uh, sight and basically like uh, mobility on a map, it's one of the most, thing, most important things when you're playing Pudge. When you, uh, I mean, uh, most of the time you go mid, basically rune wards are very important. Mm -hmm. So, um, first I'm going to do Radiant and then I'm going to do Dire. On the, the Radiant, you want to have a rune ward before the six minute, like uh, early game, so you can control the runes. And uh, if you get like a haste or a DD, you can gank other lanes. Or if you get a haste, you can control your lane better because you have a haste tree. Basically, this ward, I really like this ward spot because it shows the rune. It shows a little bit of this, and uh, it gives a vision on the enemy jungle. I'm a very aggressive player, and when I play Pudge. I really like to, like, if they have a jungler on their opposing team, that's a benefit for me because I like to gank him a lot. Like, whenever there's a jungler on the opposing team and you're a pudge, you don't want to, like, spend the first 10 minutes of the game not ever ganking him, like, letting him free from, like, Furion, Lycan, Doom, uh, shit like that. Like, you, those are, like, the easiest kills ever. And most of the time, they're just AFK jungling. Even if they're good, like, they're not going to know that you're there most of the time. You can smoke game too, basically. Okay, later in the game, after like maybe, I don't know, eight minutes or 10 minutes, I like to buy my own wards as Pudge. And uh, I like to place them because if the enemy, I mean, if the allies buy it and they don't place it in the right spots, like they place it somewhere here or here, they place it too defensive, not in the jungle, then I'm fucked because I don't see their jungle, I can't gank their jungler. This is one of my uh, favorite warding spots ever right now if I'm playing Radiant because it's never gonna get countered like people counter here people counter here this this is like the most obvious spot ever like if they opponent know that like you see them like you hook them once and they're like oh how did he see me they're gonna do ward here but they're never ever ever gonna think of here this doesn't block this camp but this one sees this this camp and this I mean it's just really efficient also this one I mean it's more obvious but this is really good because it sees like people moving here and uh, farming this camp, and you can come up from here or something like that. Also, try to identify if the opponent has wards. Um, like you're moving into a jungle here, and there's a guy here, right? And uh, if you're moving like this, and he starts moving out, then just just know that there's a ward here, right? If you're laning here, and it's night, and you're standing here, and the opponent is here, and uh, suppose you move here, he moves like to the left of the creeps. And then you move here, and you're like far, far away from the creeps, night range, right? They don't see you. And you move here, the guy moves to the right. That means it's a lane ward mid. And most of the time, you either want to de ward that or go to other lanes to gank. This is a great ward uh, for Radiant or Dire because it, it just gives you so much. This, this, this here, it's, it's amazing. Also, if there's a Tinker player, or like a uh, Ancient or something, especially for Tinker, go here. Or here, you're gonna destroy that tinker, and you could do that at uh, any time before 20 minutes or even 30 minutes. What I like to do is, if there is a jungler whatsoever on the opposing team, like a Luna, I just put a word here, like basically to be a ball game. It's not gonna be counter most of the time. Uh, yeah, if I'm on the dire side, this is a very important word. Sometimes you even want to block the jungle if there's like a tinker jungling or a Medusa or I mean ancient thing. But th this is pretty good, but this is like the most obvious ward. Like people are most of the time going to de-ward this ward. If you're on the dire and you put a ward here and you're hooking people here and you're not supposed to see them, like they're going to de-ward that. Uh, this ward, I like this this spot, like 10 minutes in or something like that. When they go to the jungle, I mean to the, to the fucking ancient, you can hook them. And basically wait here, like if there's a tinker player in the opposing team, just wait here. Like, he doesn't have a boots of trials yet, and you know there's a couple of stacks. Just wait here with a smoke or some shit, and just, like, there's no place he can go. He can only go here, or he can only go here. When I play against a Tinker, I like to, and I'm on the Dire, I put here and here. I mean, I'm bringing up Tinker a lot because he uh, farms very well. He can farm multiple places. This is one of the best wards when you're uh, on the Dire, because it, it covers their jungle. Uh... Like this camp, in this camp, even in this camp, and people rotating like in and out of the lane. Okay, that covers jungle. So basically, focus on a jungler if the opponent has a jungler. If the opponent doesn't have a jungler, has decent lanes or whatever, what you want to do is put the wards behind these towers. So if you're on the die, put it here. This is like one of the best wards. You just camp here, 
And uh, suppose you, you come and gank their carry. What my favorite thing to do is they're going to revive pretty fast, like 10 seconds. If they have a TP, they're going to TP back here. And this is uh, 3 seconds. You can time it and just hook them again and just fucking kill them. Like, that's, that's the best thing ever. You kill the enemy, uh, carry twice in a row, and he can't do shit about it. Okay? If they don't have a TP, they're going to walk back here. And, uh, I mean, there's no place they can go. They can't jungle if it's like a void or something. He can't go jungle because he's 200 leveled. So he's going to go here. And if they don't know, like, they're not going to expect you most of the time to just stick around here. So he just goes in a straight line here. He doesn't see you. You see him. You just destroy him. Okay? Uh, same thing for this here. Uh, Radiant, you put a ward here. You can see the jungle. You can see this. And he's going to walk back like that. You can hook him. He's going to TP in. You can hook him. And just wait here in the trees and you're going to be fine. And uh, if they do have a jungler, their other lanes are going to be weaker, so that's really good for you. So, like, when you're playing Pudge, I mean, you usually want to be aggressive, so you want to rotate a lot. Like, you want to gank. You don't want to... Okay, I'm going to go into another video, but... Okay, what else? Uh, this, this is a great ward. Like, anywhere behind these, even here... Like, it's awesome. Like, if you won your lane or you're controlling the map, don't let the opponent farm. Like, you, you know, like, if they can't lane against you, right, and they're nowhere on the map, you know that they're either here or here or here. Like, they're, they're farming. So just go there. Like, assume if they're not there and uh, just wait for them there. Like, straight up, just fucking wait. Like, go in the trees here. If I know that somebody's going to farm this or this, like, I just wait here or I just rotate. Uh, this is also a good warning spot. And this, yeah, I already talked about it. What words you don't want to do is, uh, this is, stay away from the obvious words. Like, if it's like 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes into the game, and you're still wording here, 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 these are really, really obvious words that are going to de get deworded. And uh, once they get deworded, you don't want to place them on the same side. Uh, also, sometimes use smoke to place words. Like, for example, if they know, if they, you know I have a word here, but you want to, like, word here, just smoke. Go ward here and just go back, right? And then just wait for the jungler or some shit. What else? Um, lane ward is pretty important. Like, I mean, if you want, actually, yeah. When the first ward duration is up, so in six minutes, I usually, like, if I'm on the radiant, I put a ward here. I go into a jungle. Even if they don't have a jungler, most of the time I put a ward like here or I put a word behind their tower and same thing for this if I'm gonna die I put a word here here or here depending I don't know just you can you can switch it up doesn't really matter and then you go here don't put the word here you wanna be aggressive you wanna put the word here or you wanna put here like if you're kinda controlling game you wanna be aggressive don't put the words like on the on the runes try to put the words more in the jungle behind the tower and just basically on the opponent's side of the map, right? And they're not going to expect it. Like, and as I mentioned previously, if they don't see you and you see them, they're moving a straight line. Even the worst, like, it doesn't take much skill. Like, if somebody's moving a straight line and they don't see you, it's like the easiest fucking hook of your life. And then you're going to destroy people and it's going to be the easy hook, but it's going to be the best percentage of hook. So, just warding. Thanks for watching.